what's up guys and welcome again to my channel if you are new here i am karen curls welcome well today i am going to be showing you guys these lovely nails and these nails <laughs> were designed based off of these earrings so i tried to make sure they match i love these earrings y'all i just love them so much i decided to design my nails so i went out and bought all the colors and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I used my nail drill from Amazon. And then also, you guys already know, I'm obsessed with this thing, my Castany Poly Gel set. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, please stay tuned. <laughs> Seriously, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, let's get started. So first we're gonna take our alcohol and clean off any oils that are in our hand and make sure that we are starting with a nice smooth base. And then we are just going to proceed on for our for the selection of the nail forms. And once you have them, you can just line them up and then make sure you have your area completely set up so that everything will be easy for you to use. So that's what I have here, I have my setup. Now I'm just gonna go in with that Castany base coat. I'm going to apply that to all of my fingernails like nail polish and then I'm just going to cure that for 90 seconds under my UV light. I decided to use a clear poly gel for the first one just so you guys can actually see the best way to apply these. You want to make sure that you apply it nice and smooth and make sure that you press it down nice and firm so there are no air bubbles. That way you can prevent breakage and you can prevent them from lasting you only a week. It can last you two weeks as long as it's nice and thick and smooth. So as you guys could see there, I used that liquid that came with the set and I just smooth that out and I'm using as little as possible and then I am just going to smooth out anything from pressing it down. I'm going to hold that underneath of the UV lamp for three to four seconds no more than five because what I'm about to do will not work for you guys but in order to get that nice and smooth you want to make sure that you flip that over as you can see there smooth that out and then allow it to finish curing that will make sure that you have the perfect set put onto all of your fingernails and you guys will see that it came out nice and smooth with no air bubbles I wanted to show you guys in clear so here that is here so now I'm just going to go right on ahead and apply the nails that I actually intended to, which is going to be the pink. And the exact same process, I'm just going to add the poly gel into the nail form, use some of that liquid to smooth it out, press it down nice and firm, hold it under my UV light for three to four seconds tops, just so that we can make sure that it will be nice and firm on your finger, and then smooth and shape it out to your liking, and then allow it to finish curing. So I'm going to continue to do this, and then I will talk to you guys when we get to the next steps this is my third video doing poly gel I think you guys really like these poly gel videos I love the poly gel the sets are amazing and they last super long as if I went to the nail salon so I absolutely love it let me know down in the comments you guys experiences with using poly gel or if you haven't used it if you have any questions about this set I'll be sure to answer that for you guys so yeah just keep watching I'm going to continue to add the poly gel I always think it is so satisfying to watch people pull the poly gel forms off. So now that area that you just seen me point to, I'm going to go in and clean up any areas that didn't get the full poly gel set applied to it. And I'm just going to add the poly gel and form it around my nail as if I was applying a regular acrylic set. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of the fingernails that I see need that and then I'm just going to cure them. Now, if you're like me, I made my poly gel set a little bit too thick. So as you guys can see here, it's a little bit harder to go in and make sure that I can cut it down to the length that I would like. So I am going to flip these over and then just drill that down so that I can get them nice and smooth and to the thickness that looks more natural. And then I'll be able to go in and clip. So you guys will see that in a moment. It will just make this so much easier.
now I am just filing and buffing and smoothing out my nails to my liking so just enjoy that guys this is the longest process so this is the most that you guys will see <laughs> I did get a question about using the drill on the poly gel nails. I do use it to smooth out any of the harder surfaces, but for the most part, this poly gel is super soft and you can completely file and shape your nails, buff them and sand them down as much as you want to with a regular emery file board. But it will be a little bit quicker if you did want to use the drill. I typically do, but I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use this with just your file. Here's where I use the drill to make sure that I can get those cuticles nice and even and natural looking. And I sand that down and smooth out as much as I can and that will finish my nails to that salon quality that everyone loves. I went ahead and did my left hand off camera just so I can show you guys what the design was in case you weren't interested in designing your nails like that. But if you are, I decided to make sure that I added that feature as well. So I am just going to go over those nails with pink. I do like this nice vibrant color. And then in order to get that swirly confetti like look, I just took a drop of each of the colors of the nail polish onto the corner of this sponge and then I applied it directly onto my nail and that's what created that nice look for me as you guys can see here. So I went ahead and added that to both of those fingernails and then I added a little bit more nail polish just to add a little more definition into this color and give a little bit more of the swirly effect and I'm just going to continue to do that and paint my nails so keep watching.
don't worry about the excess around your nail you can easily go back over that with acetone as you guys will see and clean that up so it looks nice and clean This is my favorite part of designing my nails. I love adding gems and stones, but I decided not to go too crazy and just added four different size gems onto my nails. And that was pretty much it. Now I just go in with my top coat and I allow that to cure as well. And then my nails are completely done. Now with your nail polish remover, just go ahead in and clean that up. Be very careful not to touch your nail polish because it can ruin it very easily and you will have to go back in and touch that up. But just go around the edges and around your finger beds and you will be fine. So again, I am just putting on that top coat and then I'm going to cure that under my UV lamp and my nails will be absolutely completely finished. So this is my final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.